All right, I want y'all to sit down and remember what it was like to grow up. I know a lot of you out there were watching cars on the DVD player because that's what I was doing. But unfortunately for some of you, y'all did not have that luxury. For people in Gen Alpha, they were basically handed an iPad as a fetus. And it kind of makes me wonder what's gonna happen in the future. What is the world gonna be like when people in Gen Alpha are my age? And now as somebody in Gen Z, I didn't really see a day without the internet. Like technology was a part of my life, bro. Like I grew up with a DS and a Wii and shit like that. Adventure Time, regular shows, stuff like that. But some of the younger people in Gen Alpha are growing up with Coco Melon, bro. Fucking Coco Melon. Sometimes I go to the family function and my baby cousin is always posted up watching Coco Melon, bro. Like the unlimited amount of entertainment kids have in Gen Alpha is wild. But yeah, man, a lot of parents, they just don't even want to sit there and deal with your ass, bro. So they put a fucking iPad in front of your face. And you know the craziest part is? These babies already know how to work technology and they're like fucking two years old like i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i don't even know how to fucking talk until i was two years old bro i swear to god like i was fucking stupid as hell or some shit i don't know but apparently these kids are goddamn brainiacs bro like they, they're figuring out how to use technology at like fucking six months old like the only thing i knew how to do at six months old was shake a fucking rattle and cry like technology is already so stimulating to our brains like just imagine how that affects a kid's brain bro like these kids probably ain't even gonna play with toys at all bro like they're only gonna fucking use their iPads and shit. They won't get to experience the luxuries of Legos, Beyblades, fucking Lincoln Logs, shit like that, bro. Like, that was heat growing up. I don't know how these kids are gonna go through life without experiencing that. Or maybe they will, I don't know. Like, are toys just gonna be digital now? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, even now, I still can't find myself to just fucking get off my phone, bro. Like, whenever I'm bored, I just go on my fucking phone. It's such a bad habit. But that's just what technology does to your brain at a young age. So I could really only imagine Imagine, like, you've poor souls out there in Gen Alpha. Jesus Christ. But, I mean, if people are on the iPads for so long, the content, the content must be really good, right? Right? guys? Absolutely the fuck not, bro. Like, I don't even know what kind of content is being pushed out to Gen Alpha. Like, people are just creating the most dog shit content, bro. And honestly, bro, the same thing kind of happened in Gen Z with MLG videos. Like, dude, that was the most dog shit thing ever. Like, I, what the fuck was that? I guess that was the birth of making random ass content. Like, even as a middle schooler, I honestly didn't really get it. I was like, bro, this is kind of weird. But nowadays, kids are watching Skibbity Toilet, Lanky Box, like, who the fuck? Or either that, they're watching random 3D animations with, like, really popular characters. Like, Poppy's Playtime, FNAF, shit like that. I mean, to each their own, I guess. But, like, dude, Skibbity Toilet is so fucking creepy, bro. Like, who, who wants to see a head pop out of a fucking toilet? As a kid, that would have gave me nightmares, bro. But I guess they're watching some weird-ass shit on TikTok, too. I'm sorry I have to subject you to this content. But look, bro, I have to show y'all what I mean. But, yeah, I'm gonna play a clip of it. You see what I mean? This content is literally just sound effects. Like, I don't know how people can sit there and just watch sound effects all day. I don't fucking know. Like, this shit literally has 90 million views, bro. I kid you not, man. Like, I'm so serious when I'm saying that. I'm saying that with the straightest fucking face, bro. Like, it's crazy to think that 90 million people really sat down and was like, you know what? Let's let's put on this video. <laughs> like, if that got 90 mil, clearly I'm doing something wrong, bro. I gotta step up my game real quick. I think I just gotta stop speaking and overload this video with sound effects. Like, yeah, and I guess these are, like, the YouTubers and TikTokers on top right now, bro. Like, there's this guy. His name is fucking Johnny Riddlin. Like, he literally just, he just does some random shit on camera, bro. hate on bro if the people love it i mean it pays the bills for bro but like there's no way in hell i'm watching that bro like even as a fetus that would have scarred me bro and even still to this day it scars me bro like i never even want to touch a can of pudding ever again like what the fuck like if i see pudding in the grocery store all i'm gonna remember is this dude i'm just gonna visualize big bro's video inhaling pudding cups and then there's people out there who make like weird ass content of like celebrities and things like that like dude i find the weirdest 
endless fucking videos of Ice Spice and Speed and shit like that that are made for, like, people fresh out the womb, bro. Like, it's nuts. But you can really only imagine what that content is gonna do to the young mind, bro. A lot of these kids are also being introduced to a concept that we have never really seen before, which is having two videos on the screen at once. I mean, I never thought I'd see the day where, you know, I'd be sitting there watching two videos at once, but I don't know, maybe, maybe that day is coming upon us, bro. Maybe I, I, my attention span is so poo that one day, maybe I'm gonna have fucking Subway Surfers and Family Guy going at once. Sometimes people put like a video of someone cutting a bar of soap or something like that. Like who came up with this concept? Like, I don't know. Somebody was posting my videos with fucking gameplay underneath it on TikTok and they were blowing up. Like, I don't know how the hell he did it. I have no idea. Like there was this one dude that got a million views on one of my videos using that format. I mean, I'm not mad about it. It kind of helps me out in a way, but like these kids in the comments were not holding back, bro. I was getting fucking roasted. These kids were ruthless, man. Like it was crazy. I mean, a Gen Z attention span is already bad enough. I feel like my attention span is less than a fucking goldfish, but dude, I could really only imagine what is going to happen in Gen Alpha. I feel like it's only going to get worse. I mean, especially with the fact that like there, there's videos going viral of three fucking things going on at once and especially with the rise of tiktok too like short form content is really taken over and sometimes that's all that people really do like they got mad screen time on tiktok which is crazy and my next point is like what's gonna happen with socialization i feel like i low-key already struggle with like my social skills like my social skills are low-key garbage and it's probably because when i was supposed to be developing my social skills i was put in front of a device and for me a lot of my life experiences were on the internet so it's low-key kind of hard to build common ground with people but also maybe if they were on the internet a lot too they know a lot of the trends and things like that and y'all can talk about that but outside of that it's kind of hard to you know what i mean like i really catch myself looking up goddamn small talk topics all the time or sometimes i literally catch myself just drifting off in the middle of a conversation because i'm thinking about what i saw on my phone which is crazy with gen z things like mental illness like people isolating themselves and things like that it's already gone up by like a landslide but dude imagine Imagine fucking Gen Alpha, bro. But as we get further into Gen Alpha, every single kid is gonna have a device as soon as they're able to use one. So that's how they're going to establish common ground through the things they see on the internet. And if somebody didn't have internet access, like how would that play out? Like they would just feel completely left out, bro. So at this point, it's either leave your kid out or get them a fucking tablet. It's scary to think about. And honestly, I might be a parent by time, you know, that decision has to be made. Then these people without technology, they won't be able to relate to anybody. And and it will just feel like that these other people around them are speaking in goddamn Morse code. It'll be hard for them to make friends and things like that. And a lot of the things that they're going to be talking about are going to be internet based because, I mean, that's kind of just where our society's going. You know what I mean? As more people sign up for these apps every day, the internet just continues to advance. As more people use the internet, that's more money for these companies. And they'll be able to produce devices that, that are more advanced and more able to, you know, better understand the human mind and figure out like how to keep people people on these devices because at the end of the day that's their goal that's why the algorithm promotes videos to you that you like but obviously in moderation you know watching content on the internet is not bad because entertainment has been around for generations like in the early 1900s people would listen to radios for entertainment go to the movies and shit like that in the 1920s that was the golden age of animation and then tvs were made and so on and so forth but now we're here we're in a spot where virtual reality is being built kids are being given an ipad when they're born and as the days go on these companies are trying to develop devices that people stay more attached to so i wanted to dedicate this next section of the video to what the future is gonna be like in my opinion or in my thoughts i don't know man as the days go on i slowly start to think was wally right like i don't know man like you, you see these fucking fat people on chairs just flying around and then you see the fucking devices like connected to the chair they got 50 billion different screens they're just fed food over and over again. Like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe Wally was onto something. Because if you think about it, technology just makes our life easier and easier. In the year like 2100, just imagine like how much easier life is going to be. And I guess my prediction is everything is going to become more digital and life is just going to continue to get easier. I mean, I'm sorry I'm going like deep philosopher mode on this shit, but I don't know. That's just what I think. And what are schools going to teach kids? I don't fucking know. Like, is Skibbity Toilet going to be in the history books? 
Is my son gonna come home from school? Hey, Dad, you were around when Skibbity Toilet was made, right? Can you tell me about it? I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, bro. I really gotta explain to this motherfucker what Skibbity Toilet is? Like, if, if people put Skibbity Toilets in the history book, bro, we failed. That's it. Like, it, society is doomed, bro. Like, I'm gonna be like fucking 50. I'm gonna have a midlife crisis. I'm gonna be like, society is doomed. I'm gonna be on my fucking Joker arc. And what is slang gonna be like? Like, right now, we already got the most random and outrageous things like Yat and fucking Skibbity Riz, Ohio, and all this other shit. Like, I'm starting to have a hard time understanding, like, the slang going around nowadays. Like, imagine that in, like, 20 years, bro. Some kid's gonna come home and be like, some kid's gonna come home and speak in straight gibberish, like, like, what the hell? But yeah, I wanted to get my thoughts on that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.